It is almost football season and people are getting ready to cheer on their favorite teams. We're talking everything from the NFL all the way down to Pee Wee. Yep, and one local Pop Warner League is heading to practice without some much needed equipment. Our Colleen Quigley explains why and how you can help. Colleen. Yeah, so you'll remember be, be in the beginning, beginning of the summer, Wilders Grove Youth Center caught fire. Now the parents say after that somebody stole the team's equipment and it was only two weeks until the first game. They're really trying to raise money for that new gear. Go. It's not hard to figure out how the kids at Wilders Grove Youth Center feel about football. How y'all feel? How y'all feel? With the first game just two weeks away, they are working hard for that W. One heart, one team. But Coach Johnny Rhodes says there are some crucial things missing going into the season. This year just been so trying, you know, test after test. In June, a fire destroyed the concession stand and bathroom and some equipment. To add insult to injury, uh, we discovered that some of our equipment was also stolen. So now parents like Shante Lashley are trying to raise $5,000 needed for the new helmets, pads and gear. So as parents, we kind of went into a panic, like what are we going to do because this is the time to get the kids squared away and ready for the actual season um, so that they're ready to compete and more than anything, make sure they're safe on the field. Go. Because for these kids, Shante says this youth center is about much more than just football. This is something that these kids really take pride in and we as parents take pride in it as well. It's something for the kids to do to keep them safe, keep them out the streets. Coach Rhodes calls Wilders Grove a family. Like I tell the kids, I love you just like my sons. Of course we love to win, but also the most important thing is creating better men. Go. So for now, on the field, the drills keep running. Go. This is their thing. This is what they love to do. This is their moment to shine. Number one. Number one. Off the field, these moms are working just as hard so their kids can play on. Why not us as parents and the community give them everything they need so they can shine? Let's fly around. Let's fly around. Let's fly around. Well, the fire is still under investigation. I am told, though, that vandalism has been a problem at the youth center in the past. Now, if you want to help them out, we've got the link on our website. Marius Angela.